Well, all this week, our Blake Roberts will be looking into a problem that uh, is a problem in most cities across southern Ontario. and Particularly in Windsor. And around the world, but he'll be focusing on Windsor. It's about prostitution. It's called the oldest profession for good reason, because it's mentioned in the Bible and is still being practiced today. In fact, you could probably cruise Wyandotte Street, Blake tells us, in Windsor's East End this very night and come across as many as six hookers walking the street. Here's Blake now with part one of his look at prostitution in Windsor. Okay, the takedown, take them. We got a possible uh, Chevron power and a shoot. There are about 160 businesses in the 14 blocks of Wyandotte Street East that make up the old Midtown Business Improvement Area. A bustling shopping district by day, you can get everything on Wyandotte East from home appliances to auto parts. By night, it's a different story. That's when sex goes on sale. The hookers are out here in the summer and winter on all but the coldest nights. They pace up and down, hang out in phone booths or hitchhike, and the customers know what to look for. Last year in Windsor, we had uh, 22 females that were arrested for communicating for the purposes of prostitution and 67 males, or as we call them, Johns. That's a total of 89 people. The vast majority of those charges were laid here on Wyandotte Street East. They, uh, most of them happened on uh, the Near East Side of Windsor and uh, along the busier streets, mostly Wyandotte Street. Staff Sergeant Evans is reluctant to label Wyandotte Street as Windsor's hooker strip. That's why he prefers to talk about prostitutes working the Near East Side. You see, Evans is sensitive to the complaints from the people who live and work in the area. They don't like Wyandotte's sordid reputation, nor are they comfortable with the police and the media attention. But the facts don't lie. This is the hooker strip, and most of the business people will admit that something has to be done. Windsor's police chief is doing something. He's made it clear that he wants prostitution on Wyandotte Street East cleaned up. He reaffirmed that, um, you know, that interest again late last year. And, uh, you know, we have been working, our uh, special investigation division in particular, also with uniform officers have been working. Uh, that's a priority with us. And tomorrow night we'll show you one of the things the special investigations and uniform officers have been working on. It's called a John Sweep, when a decoy officer masquerades as a hooker to attract the men who use the services of prostitutes, and then they arrest them. Okay, Blake, uh, we'll be watching for that tomorrow. Now, in your report tonight, you mentioned that the people who live and work around Wyandotte Street East don't like the hookers hanging around, but they don't seem to like all the police attention either. That's a bit of a contradiction, isn't it? Well, I guess it is in a way. Um, they're kind of caught between the proverbial rock and a hard place. Uh, on the one hand, they don't, they don't want the hookers around there, but then to uh, get rid of them, you have to undertake operations like the John Sweep, and that attracts a lot of attention. Uh, by the way, later this week, we'll be introducing you to some of the merchants, and we'll also, uh, we'll also introduce you to a hooker. All right. Thanks, Blake. Thank you. All right, time now for the second of our uh, special series of reports on prostitution in Windsor. Prostitution, it seems, is not a crime, but talking about it is. The charge is known as communicating for the purposes of prostitution. Both hookers and their clients, known as Johns, can be arrested under this law. But in Windsor, the cops generally leave the prostitutes alone and focus on the people who are buying sex on the street. CKCO's Blake Roberts joins us now with his second report on the prostitution problem in Windsor. It could be any night. This time it's a Tuesday, in the middle of winter, in the heart of Windsor's hooker strip. She walks like a prostitute, and she talks like one when necessary. But she isn't a hooker, she's a cop. A couple of hours earlier, the Windsor Police Special Investigation Division started to get ready to go on a John sweep. Okay, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going out to Marantet and Wyandotte, and we're going to be working the southeast corner. Actually, she will be working the southeast corner of Marantet and Wyandotte. She's the bait, a Windsor Police Constable. It's her fourth time posing as a prostitute. No one assigned her this job. She wants to do it because of what she's seen during other John sweeps. We were setting up and uh, a 13-year-old girl was walking to the store from her house and was approached. 
by an older man in a truck and she was very very afraid so we handled that situation but it just that to me just goes to show you that that's why we're doing it because no and nobody can walk down the street without being approached and that's that's sad so she's going to be on what corner the south and we'll see what kind of activity that okay, we can she's out, guys. generate. Wyandotte Street is the center of Windsor's flesh trade these days. They used to be on pit. Well, they used to be on pit. They used to be right in these alleys right here. Right here. This one started back in the... Uh... In the past, hookers have worked other streets and in brothels across the city. They've also used escort services as a front for prostitution. From time to time, an escort service will pop up and the police simply shut it down. It last happened in 1992. But Wyandotte Street is a chronic problem, and this John sweep is part of the program to clean it up. Okay, the take down, take them. It happens very quickly. Once the crime of communicating for the purposes of prostitution is committed, the backup swoops down and makes the arrest. The bogus hooker takes off to write her report, then hits the street again. Do you have sympathy for those girls? No. Not at all. And the white New Yorker, it no. like and the Johns themselves, none whatsoever. None whatsoever. No, not at all. I... Okay, well, we'll go grab a coffee, and we'll come back and do it again. All right. How's that sense? Five men were arrested and charged this night with communicating for the purposes of prostitution. Their names won't be released, but the courtroom is a public place. And if you use the services of a prostitute, you should be advised that it is becoming increasingly common to publish the names of Johns as a deterrent to prostitution. In Windsor, Blake Roberts, CKCO TV News. And tomorrow night, Blake introduces us to Stephanie, a real life prostitute working Windsor's Wyandotte Street East. Well, now we bring you part three of our feature series, our look at the prostitution problem in Windsor. That's right. Last night, Blake Roberts showed us uh, what the Windsor Police Service is doing about the Johns who cruise Wyandotte Street East. And tonight we introduce you to Stephanie, one of the hookers. Okay, the takedown. Take them. 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 She lives in a two-bedroom, subsidized townhouse in Windsor's Far East End with her roommate, who has a baby. Stephanie, as she calls herself in the street, collects welfare to pay her rent, to pay for her crack cocaine habit. She works the streets. So where were you last night? Why not Marantat? Yeah, just walking up and down. That's my corner. Yeah. <laughs> so how many, how many jobs did you do last night then, do you figure? Oh, I don't know. About ten. Ten, uh, average price of fifty, seventy, hundred. Yeah. So you, so you could have turned, you know, between at least five hundred dollars last night. Mm -hmm. Five hundred bucks. Yeah. yeah. Fifty dollars for oral sex, seventy-five for intercourse. Stephanie calls it easy money, and she always makes the John wear a condom. Prove it, and you know, cash up front, and if you don't want to use a rubber, then get lost. Stephanie says she started hooking about 10 years ago when she was age 16. She claims to have left home because of sexual abuse. She had nowhere to go until a friend took her to a brothel in this block of Oled Avenue across from Hotel Dew Hospital, where she started turning tricks. Oh, you know, you don't understand the life I live, though. You, you haven't Thanks, been man. through it. Like, you try living on the street, have nowhere to live. You know? I don't know how to explain this. For Stephanie, prostitution is simply a job. Oh, I don't like it, but I just like the money. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't like doing it, but I. I like the cash. Most of the people who live around Wyandotte Street East know Stephanie, and as you might expect, they don't like her presence in their neighborhood very much. Oh, uh, there's a lot of people around Wyandotte that don't side street. Women come yelling out, "Get out the fucking corner!" What do you say to them? Fuck you. <laughs> you just don't care. Eh? I don't. I just keep out. I'll do it perfectly. Just to be a bitch. And as for the John sweep we showed you, Stephanie just laughs and says the cops will only succeed in moving the prostitutes off Wyandotte, but they'll never get rid of the hookers as long as there are clients. But there'll always be a John somewhere. I don't care where, but there will be. In fact, with legalized gambling and a casino coming to Windsor, Stephanie predicts a boon for the women and men who work the world's oldest profession. Uh, 
That's what we were just talking about. That's where they're all going to be. I bet money on it. Sure, you have to get all dressed up nice, but make more money then. In Windsor, Blake Roberts, CKCO TV News. Tomorrow night, Blake wraps up his look at prostitution in Windsor with the merchant's perspective on the hooker problem there. Now the fourth and final segment of our special series on prostitution in the city of Windsor. As most businessmen will tell you, it's tough enough trying to do business these days, but in a 14-block stretch of Windsor's Wyandotte Street, small business owners are battling attitude as well as the recession. Here's CKCO's Blake Roberts. Okay, the takedown, take them. Get the power back, uh, look, and we've been around about three times now. Uh, we feel we kind of take a bad rap with uh, some of the crimes involved, such as prostitution, which... This is Barry Pinn. He's the head of the old Midtown Business Improvement Association. He's got a tough job selling a part of Windsor with a reputation. People are, are tired of reading about, you know, wind out, wind out, wind out. And people from out of town, um, some businesses in the area deal with people from out of town. And they're almost afraid to come to the Wyandotte Street area because of what they've read rather than you know, seeing the good things. Uh. Pin's in a bit of a jam here. On the one hand, he'd love to see the hookers off his street completely. To do that, though, the police have to run operations like the John Sweep, and that brings undue attention he doesn't like. The, the police, I find that, you know, the job they're doing is great, and it's unfortunate that they are so successful. Uh, <laughs> it, it, I guess it's got its plus, and, and for, but uh, I, I think, too, if they did that program almost in any part of the city in, on a major uh, throughway, that they would be just as uh, successful. Eric Jones is a partner in a decorating business on Wyandotte Street. He sometimes holds classes on interior design at night. That's when he sees the hookers parading past his store. Uh, quite often, they walk past the window, you know, jump in the cars to the johns, you know. Does it hurt business? Well, it does hurt business when you have people from the river, riverside wanting to come over to the store, and they're kind of hesitant and questioning you. So, uh, in that aspect, yeah, somewhat, is pretty bad. And all the, the white spots indicate new businesses. Back at the Midtown BIA office, Barry Pinn would prefer to talk about his plans to clean up Wyandotte Street East. He figures that if you make a shopping district attractive, the rest will fall into place. Until that happens, however, he says he'd like to see the names of Johns arrested for communicating for the purposes of prostitution published. Pin's also taking a proactive approach to the problem of hookers on Wyandotte. I've uh, personally uh, talked to Johns when they stop for the girls and uh, made my views known. And uh, What kind of response do you get? <laughs> well, it's, I guess it, you, you couldn't say it on the air. <laughs> no, really, In Windsor, yeah, Blake Roberts, CKCO friends. TV News.